Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. If you're into emulating PC games on your Android smartphone or tablet, then you're likely already familiar with an application called WinLater. This is something that I've covered on the channel in the past, so I can link to those installation guide videos down in the video description below. The emulator just received a major update to version 7.0, and with it comes some really good improvements. Right off the bat, we can see that the developer was able to update the version of Wine, Box86, and Box64 files that the emulator uses. They have also updated the Mesa Turnip, Zinc, and Virgil drivers that come along with the app. But one of the biggest improvements that we're seeing with this update is the improved stability for X input, aka the controller support for when later. If you have used the controller with previous versions of this application, then you have likely noticed that the controller input breaks at random and that's just due to the service that was crashing. This update should help to improve things so that you can use your controller during long play sessions. The 7.0 update to WinLater also makes some improvements to the input controls and task manager as well. If you've tinkered with the container settings before, then you'll be happy to hear that version 7.0 of WinLater has improved things like processor affinity, showing the FPS counter, the GPU name, Windows components, and environment variables. The update has also added a new experimental WoW 64 mode as well, which can be found in the advanced tab of the container settings area. VKD 3D support has been added there's a new logs option to view, and some intro videos for various games like Resident Evil 5, Lost Planet, and others have finally been fixed. Lastly, we're seeing some regular performance improvements that are helping across all of the games that you play on it. So if you have tried when later in the past, but you noticed that the performance numbers were just below your preference, then definitely check out this new update, as I'm seeing reports from people playing games like Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Tropico, and others who are getting higher FPS numbers with this update compared to the previous one. If you noticed that the performance of when later was great with version 3.x, then this update seems to be getting things back to those levels. The update can be installed like normal, so there's no need to reinstall any components or set anything back up again. A straight update to the WinLater application should be all that is needed. Now, the application still seems to have issues with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip since the container continues to crash. So if your phone has that chip, then your best bet is to use the Mobox emulator. However, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phones are performing better with this update. So definitely download this update and install it if your phone has that chip or any older ones. If you've been using this emulator to play any classic PC games, then please use the comment section below to tell me what you've been playing.